Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Oh boy, we're already making friends on the first day of school. Hey, Filch, what's up? We're gonna talk to Filch. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. <laughs> what the hell was that end sentence? What was that? <laughs> okay, enough of that. Hey, there's Hermione. What's up? Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. Alrighty, so this is of course the moment where we're gonna have our first lesson, our first spell lesson. And the thing is about all these spell lessons is that you actually have to draw uh, the figure of the spell. And there are four rounds to them. The first round you have to get, I believe, 50%. If you fail to get 50%, you may redo it as many times as you want until you get that 50%. You get a couple of house points for that. Then the second, third, and fourth round, you only get one attempt, and you have to draw at least uh, with 65% accuracy, 80% accuracy, and then 95% accuracy. And of course, that 95 is really tricky. But I want to say something else before we actually go in and try to do this uh, this uh, spell challenge, learning, drawing thing. This is that if you're playing uh, like me on a Windows 7 computer or laptop, 32-bit, uh, 64-bit, whatever. Um, I'm playing on 64-bit, by the way. Um, if you go up here and you're gonna try, and you're gonna try to draw the uh, spell symbol, no matter how accurate you are, you will always get lower than 50%. It's some sort of a weird bug. Now, the way to um, fix this is to actually set your compatibility mode um, for the game to Windows 98 slash ME. This seems to work, and this is uh, actually a common uh, solution given on form and just by simple internet browsing and Google, whatever. This is the solution to that. Well, there is another spell that's coming up, Lumos, and there uh, you have to do something else in order to make sure that you can actually pass uh, the 50% mark at least. Now, but we're going to get to that in, uh, in the later stage of the game, because I don't really want to mention it now, because then we might forget in another part. Um, shut up, peeps, really. <laughs> I'm trying to commentate here. Um, but what else is there? Yeah, it might just be that it's, like I said, it's very tricky for me to get 95% because I suck at drawing in general. So drawing with a mouse, it's even harder for me to do. But we're going to see if we're going to get 95% because really that's what I want. I want maximum house points. You can get 50 house points per lesson if you... Uh, draw with that 95% accuracy at the end. So let's try and do this, shall we? All right. I am P Professor Quirrell. T today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the Flipendo spell. Watch my wand, then hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. Release the button when you're done. Let's try this. Oh, God. I suck at drawing. Oh, let's see. This has to be 50% at least. Holy shit, I got a hundred. <laughs> oh, but I have to keep it up now. Mr. Potter, a perfect spell. Oh god. Five points for it's, it's such a shame you only get five Go points. On, Mr. Potter. Try again. Now we have to get 65%. Oh god. Everything is pain. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, this is not going to be 100%, but it doesn't matter. I just need to get 65. I just need to get 65. Alright, I got 65. Cool. See, 92%. I can't have 92% of the end. An outstanding effort, Mr. Potter. Th thank you. 
points for Gryffindor. Come on, we need, we need to get that. Uh, Mr. Potter. Okay, now 80%. Should be okay. Oh god, what did I do? Oh god. Uh. Alright, 95%. You see, it's close. This is gonna be close to get 95%. Now I really have to concentrate. 15 points for Gryffindor. And again, Mr. P P Potter, let's see what you can do. This is not gonna be 95%. No way in hell this is gonna be 95%. No way in fucking hell. It's 95%! Yes! <laughs> the house with the most points at the end of the year wins the house cup. 20 points for G Gryffindor. Oh my god, 50 points. Woohoo! Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo Challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P P Potter. Hold to down the mouse button to aim the flippendo spell. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t -t Try it on that barrel. All right, we are in the flippendo challenge, and I'm sorry for swearing at the last end, but it's so exciting to get 95% drawing on the first try. This was the first try. I was planning on resetting the game and replay it until I finally got that 95% mark. Oh, I suck at drawing, but uh, I did it. Alright, so now let's do the Flipendo challenge. Uh, the game says there are three secret areas, and I'm not gonna mark those areas. Um, but what is important is that there are also challenge stars. And in although the game doesn't mention how many challenge stars there are in this challenge, there are eight of them. So we're gonna count to eight. So yeah, let's do this. And let's try to uh, practice on uh, using Flapendo. I have the feeling this is going to be a very useful spell in the future. Hmm. So yeah, simple challenges so far. And some new uh, uh, OST. Original soundtrack, background music. There's the first challenge star, but we can't get to it. And if we look here... Well, we could drop down, but there was really nothing there to see. So let's go this way. Cast your flippendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flippendo affects all sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. Cauldrons! I love cauldrons. <laughs> Knocking over them. Alright. Uh, yeah. Oh, another cauldron. Hello. I'm gonna knock you over as well. Now let's hit the flipendo switch. Cool. Now you might think, can we get up there? Actually you should, but the game doesn't allow you. Sad face. Anyways, let's go and collect our first challenge star. Yep, challenge stars. And one thing I forgot to mention, there is no time limit. You can do whatever you want. Uh, go at your own pace, see if there are any secrets you've missed out, and that's what I like. No time limits, just peace and quiet. That's what I love. Alrighty, now we're up here, and first let's tip over that cauldron. And now that that's done, the fender switch. Well done. Now, go on and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you further on. Uh, so we think we have to... <laughs> nice sound effect there, Harry. It was a pretty high jump. <laughs> what, I was, what I was about to say is that... Um, yeah, after this second store, there are going to be some secrets. So it's all going to be exciting from now on. And yeah, this game also loves to use the point of no return kind of um, thing. That's quiet. It's all going quiet with the soundtrack. But yeah, 
there is like a point of no return so if you somehow miss that star I guess you have to reset your game anyways let's continue Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor house ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point, if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Cool. And, yep, this is the... Similar system uh, to uh, the second game, you just have to uh, touch the book and it'll be saved. So yeah, let's do that right now. Cool. And the book will then disappear, so I think it's a one-time use. So yeah, better be careful when you do want to save. Flipendo! Of course we can break shit with Flipendo, so that's really nice. And the ghost disappeared, that's not creepy at all. Alright. And hit this one. Flipendo! Easy stuff so far, because, well, <laughs> Flipendo is our only spell. We can't really do any complex puzzles so far. So, yeah. This is all we got. And again, the door closes behind you. <sighs> so, yeah. yeah this, uh, this song sounds quite familiar, eh? Flipendo! Alrighty. More beans, and I see a lot of Flipendo switches. Flipendo! And I see a gate with a challenge star inside that room. Hmm. So yeah. Nintendo! Nintendo! Quite easy puzzle. Nintendo! This gate will open up, and there is your third star. And I'm kind of considering this a secret area, but eh, like I said, I'm not gonna count this as a secret area. I'm not gonna mention them in our in the video because um you know, it's it's just too tricky to say, okay, this is a secret area and this is not. But anyways, let's continue. What's up, Mr. Quirrell? Cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. Ah, those blocks. Amazing. Flipendo! You gotta love these blocks. Flipendo! Huh. Alright. Parkour jumping! Flipendo! Again, I'm gonna ask the question, even in a school of witchcraft and wizardry, you still have to know how to jump and climb. This is not my kind of school. Door closes behind you. And let's see what we have to do here. I see a challenge star up there, but also a bottomless pit with some purple bubbles in them. Hmm, lovely. Let's not do that. First up, let's save. Alrighty. Uh, nothing here, nothing there. Another block that will magically float into the bottomless pit. So that's nice. We still cannot get that challenge star, so... Hmm. Let's see what we have to do here then. Oh, okay. Let's push this block. Go up here. And we're gonna do this diligently. Up over the cauldron. Get some beans, another Flipendo switch. This gate will open up, and that is yet another star that we can collect. Which might be another secret area. And that jump just looks so ugly. Alrighty, so that's the fourth star. This is a little parkour uh, trick that Ray uh, mentioned to me. Yeah, he wanted me to do that, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's continue. We have to go up here now. Whoa! What happened there? <laughs> this this might happen multiple times throughout the walkthrough series because jumping is so clunky. It's so clunky. But we'll see. Alright, let's get that star too. Nice. So that's star number five. There are three more to go. Now we play the waiting game. Because this goes on for a while actually. Let's jump. And you cannot uh, ledge grab on moving platforms. That has been tested, and we have failed multiple times. So. So again, we gotta wait. And I 
back to ask the question yet again why would you ever put first year in such grave danger all right uh, let's go and collect this star not sure if this counts as a secret area but yet again I don't care I just want to get all the stars we got two more to go there you go uh, I guess we could already flip that switch over. Less waiting time, I suppose. Yep. Creepy ghost sounds. Eh. eh. I guess we can't do that. Quick! There we go. Cool. Um, again, I might consider this a secret area, but the game says there are only three in this level, so whatever. Let's collect the star. So that's number seven. Let's collect the beans too. You're gonna need beans, like... Beans are... Yeah, important. Very important, actually. In order to complete the game 100%. So let's see. Gotta wait for it. And... Do not hit that switch over there just yet. Because the platform is actually standing still in the right position. So instead, we can just hit the switch right now if I turn around with the mouse. I really have to drag my mouse in order to move the camera. It's really annoying. But oh well. And let's jump here. Now, what's next? Ah yes, we're almost to the end actually. Another save book. Let's do it. And let's continue. This is a gnome, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards. Knock him on his b b backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be c quite a nuisance. I hate gnomes. I really do. They are annoying. They are really annoying. Let's try to sneak up on him. God dang it, invisibility. Oh god, oh god. I, I really hate gnomes. Uh, I see you. You can't hide from me. No! That was a close call. I see you. There we go. I really hate gnomes. Anyways, don't forget to grab that star. Quite important. And break shit. Very important to break shit. Um, but I still hate the gnomes because they move at quite a weird pace, they make weird sounds. Um, they can steal beans from you, or you lose beans at least, um, when they touch you. Uh, I'm not sure if you can pick up all the beans, but I think you lose a couple of them maybe. Um, good thing though, you don't have to put them in their little hole again. So one hit with Flipendo and they just stay down, which I kind of prefer, instead of doing all that hard work. I still wish I could pick them up there and throw them in the fire, but hey, that's that's the sadistic uh, thought of me playing this game, trying to improve on it. Oh well. Anyways, I think that is it. No secret here from what I can tell. So yeah, let's just uh, go and finish up this spell challenge. C Congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You completed the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. 20 p points for Gryffindor. Now, hurry on to b broomstick practice.